everyone. I'm Dr. Zia McQueen, a psychologist specializing in transgender care. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to talk with all of you about what happens when you play with a dial. And I will explain to you what the metaphor of the dial stands for in order to please people around you, in order to avoid conflict with people around you, and in order to maintain status quo with people around you. This video is going to be applicable to pretty much anybody. Um, and I think a lot of you are going to resonate with this idea of playing with the dial because I just see so many people engage in this behavior. And I want to share with you how actually messing with the dial, not doing you any favors and how it keeps you perpetually stuck where you at. So what do I mean by the dial? What is this dial, this knob that all of you are toying with and either dialing up or dialing way down? I want you to think about the dial as part of you in regards to your gender identity that you want to either express. So either you actually want to express physically in regards to gender presentation, or maybe the dial for you represents things you want to start doing in regards to gender identity. Maybe the dial represents um, asking people to use your preferred pronouns, or maybe the dial represents asking people to uh, use your, your authentic new name. Maybe the dial represents some other things in your life. The dial can also represent you wanting to start some elements of gender transition. Maybe it is uh, you're ready and you feel like you want to start hormones, or you're ready and you want to feel like you want to start um, any kind of gender affirming surgical procedures. The dial could also mean a lot of other things for you that perhaps I'm not bringing it up, but it's all of those things in regards to your authentic gender identity that you are toying with. And by toying, I mean you are dialing it either up toward actually how what you want to do, what you need to do, how you want to show up, or you're dialing it way down. When you dial it way down, you dial it way down in order to please others, in order to avoid conflict with others, or in order to preserve status quo. I see people toying with the, with the uh, um, dial most frequently when they are in relationships, long-term marriages, or any kind of relationship of any kind, or especially in a career and especially in a work environments. This happens primarily in these two spheres, because that's the spheres where you have lives situated, where you have most of your time has been invested to. And as a result, this is why you care so much about pleasing other people. This is why you care so much to avoid conflict. This tends to happen a little bit less out in the public with people you don't even know, unless you are the type of individual who cares very deeply about external validation from strangers. In that case, that dial is also going to matter to you a lot. So what happens when you're toying with this dial? And let me give you some examples of what it looks like. A very common example is for somebody to dialing way down, in other words, really tr not even stepping into who they are, when they feel like they're ready to use their preferred pronouns. Because you're thinking to yourself, if I were to dial where I actually has to be, where I, I'm, I want to be, where I aim to be, then I'm going to make people uncomfortable. And if I'm going to make people uncomfortable, I'm going to feel guilty. So this is a very classic example of toying with the dial. Another classic example of toying with the dial that I see is people saying that I don't want to show up at work in expression that I feel comfortable with. So let's say for some trans femme identified individuals, some of you may want to feel and maybe feel ready to show up at work wearing makeup, maybe wearing a feminine blouse and a skirt. And yet you're dialing yourself way down and you're really taking down a notch on how you present yourself and what you wear because, again, you don't want to rock the boat. Because again, you want to please the others. Because you're thinking that people around you, your coworkers, are not ready yet. The dial a lot of times has to do with either feeling guilty, avoiding conflict, 
or a perception that people are not ready yet. That's another very classic example. Another classic example of toying with a uh, dial is in relationship. When a partner has already come out and maybe already on hormones and wants to start expressing themselves even more in terms of clothing and style, but they're dialing way down because they're afraid to make their partner uncomfortable. Or maybe your partner is telling you, you can't do this. And so you're dialing again, way, way down. Every time all of you are toying with a dial, and let's be honest, I think a lot of you are toying with the dial much more than you actually realize. And I get it. And I totally understand why you're doing all of this. But every time you're toying with a dial, you're doing numerous things. One, you're giving a lot of power to others. And two, you're keeping yourself stuck. Let's examine keeping yourself stuck because that's very important. How do you keep yourself stuck? You might be wondering if you're actually trying not to rock the boat, if you're trying to avoid the conflict, isn't that a good thing that you're considering, for example, your partner needs in this case and you're trying not to overwhelm them? Or isn't it a good thing that you're considering your old coworkers because you don't want to overwhelm them with your authentic gender identity? Now, I want to say there's a big difference between taking baby steps, and I'm a huge fan of taking baby steps, taking baby steps in your environment at your spheres of influence, such as work, your personal life, taking baby steps that you have decided you need those baby steps because with each baby step, your confidence grows and your assertiveness grows and you become much more comfortable with yourself. This is not baby steps we're talking about here. We're talking about situations when you want, you're ready, you desire to go further, but you're keeping yourself back because of other people. That's what I mean when I talk about toying with the dial. So how does it keep you stuck? Well, it keeps you stuck because let me tell you this. People around you at work that you're so afraid you're going to make them uncomfortable Maybe you're really afraid you're going to rock the boat with your partner. People around you, if they don't have your well-being at their heart, if they don't have an understanding that this is not just a matter of expression, this is your mental and physical health. If they will feel like you're overwhelming them by being who you are, then every time you try to please them, I want you to remember this. This is very important. I want you to remember this. No matter how, how low you're going to dial, in other words, no matter how minimally you're going to show up as your authentic self, they will never be happy. You will never appease them no matter what you do. No matter what you do. Because Chances are these individuals already have it in their headspace that they're not comfortable with you showing up as who you are. And now you're tailoring to them and you're waiting for them to get comfortable. And that's a power game. And you're giving them a lot of control over your life. Again, big difference between baby steps and even bigger difference when you, especially in your relationship with your partner and your spouse, you both have mutually agreed on the pace you're going to be taking. That's a big difference. Versus you already came out, do this what you need to do for yourself, and your partner constantly telling you no, 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 no. If they're constantly telling you no, 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 when is it going to be yes, yes, yes? Or is there something else that do you need to re-examine? Because there's something that you need to better, again, your mental and physical health. And if they're keeping you from exploring that, from stepping into that, then that back ends question, do they even care about your mental and physical health to begin with? I know it's a really big question for a lot of you who are in a relationship to think about. But I want all of you to remember that, again, when we're toying with a dial, the truth is, when you dial way down, way below frequencies of who you are, and instead of showing up, imagine me, for example, let's use me, for example, right? And I know this is different because I don't struggle with uh, uh, gender incongruency, but 
this is still going to be uh, an example that's going to help us further illuminate. So you all know me, you all know how much I love color black, how I love ginormous jewelers, the bigger the better, how much I love red lipstick. Imagine if I started to dial back because I was thinking that I make people uncomfortable with my appearance. And you know, for those of you who read comments on this channel have seen there's a lot of hateful comments about my appearance and whatnot. Imagine if I tried to please those people and suddenly one day I showed up without red lipstick, without my big glasses, without my big jewelry, without me. If I stopped show up, showing up as who I am, all of you would feel immediately that my frequency has changed. Even I will change. Even the way I talk to all of you, my confidence level, my assertiveness level, even the way I carry myself is going to change. And all of you are going to feel it. And because you're going to feel it, the message that I'm trying to, to um, pass on, the message that I'm trying to deliver is going to feel differently because I'm not showing up as myself. And that's going to hold me back. And even if I dial all the way down, I will still never please those people because they are not happy with me for a completely other reason, but they're using my appearance in order to stamp me down. The same goes for all of you. When you dial, you dial all the way down. You're also altering your frequency of who you are. You show up differently. When you show up differently, you even talk differently. You start attracting people who are on par with that low frequencies, but in reality, you need to be way high up. So now you're building a sphere and world around you that is, again, inauthentic to who you are. And this is what all of you have done, living for a long time in your gender assigned at birth, overcompensating with your gender assigned at birth, and trying very hard to pretend to be like you're a man or to pretend to be like you're a woman for, for I wanted to say centuries, well, but you know what I mean, for decades, for a long time. And you know that that frequency that does not belong to you has already attracted people around you that don't even know who you are, including a lot of other things in your life. You can never please people because they're not after just your expression. They're not just upset that suddenly you wear red lipstick. They're struggling with their own internal things and you are a target of those internal things. And they need to sort it out for themselves. By lowering the dial down, you're really not pleasing anybody. And you're really not avoiding any conflict. And you're really not maintaining status quo. And sadly, all you're doing is keeping yourself stuck. The best you can do is to dial your button to your frequency, to who you are. Will that mean that some people will not want to be around you? Yeah, probably. You know, a lot of people don't want to be around me. I'm intense. <laughs> I'm very intense. If, if you haven't noticed, I'm very intense. I have a lot of intensity about me. I'm direct. I'm to the point. I say what's on my mind. A lot of people can't tolerate me. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not willing to dial myself way down just so that I can make them comfortable. Of course, I'm not going to be a mindless asshole to individuals, no. But I'm also not going to alter who I am authentically as an individual. And neither should you. Because every time you dial yourself in conformity with who you truly are, you start to attract people who belong to be around you and you start to push away those who don't. And again, remember, you can never please anybody. People who who disagree with your authenticity and you're trying to please them, they will continue to disagree with your authenticity no matter, no matter whether your dial is low or high. So you might as well dial it accordingly. Remember, people who are against your authenticity are going to be against your authenticity. Whether your dial is low or high, you might as well dial it accordingly and be truthful to yourself. This is very, very important. This is why 
when toying with the dial and going up or down and up and down in order to to appease everybody else you can't pacify everybody and you shouldn't try to pacify everybody i don't see those people trying to pacify you i don't see those people trying to pacify me we either like some people or we don't and that's okay there's plenty of people in the world and there's those that are going to adore you so it's very important not to toy with it because you're keeping yourself perpetually stuck because you're not moving forward. Another thing about playing with the dial is that a lot of you, sadly, are using this as a way to remain in denial or as a way to self-sabotage yourself. Because you're telling yourself, see, I can't move forward until they're comfortable. So I'm going to wait until everybody around me is comfortable and then I'm going to move forward. And those of you who have done this know that it doesn't work like that. And the minute you give people time to get comfortable, they maintain and they don't get comfortable because it's not about getting comfortable. They don't want to get comfortable to begin with. So I want you all to think about it. I know that it's a little bit, you know, as a lot lately has been tender, living, care, punchy uh, message, but we need to hear this thing. We need to understand how we're doing this all the time. And all of us do this all the time, myself included sometimes still, uh, but I'm learning to be better at it and I'm learning to be at my frequency and I'm learning to show up as me and give less shit about what people think. And those of you who love my style and love how direct I am, love it. And that's great. And I'm sure there's viewers who come to this channel, even if content is interesting to them or relevant, who just cannot stand uh, my approach. And again, that is okay. I cannot pacify everybody and neither can you. So I want you to think about the dial. So comment below, let me know, how are you? Can you notice right now in your life? How are you toying with the dial? Is it in regards to your gender expression? Is it in regards to uh, starting some elements of gender transition? How have you maybe played with the dial in the past? And what was the outcome? So comment below, let me know, and I will see you all next time. Bye.